Hello and welcome to the third quarterfinals of the AMD Premier League. We are watching Zenith and Myth Trust, and we're gonna see which one of these two teams will be making it onto the semi-finals. It is a single elimination bracket. Everything is best of three, apart from the finals, which are best of five. And today I am joined by Rhyme as my co-caster. Rhyme, welcome back. Hello. Hello. So Zenith, uh, a team that you cannot kind of you, you you cannot predict what they are gonna pick. Yeah, they're usually fairly volatile with their drafts, but they've already started off with something a bit Navi-esque or Navi Zenith-esque. Yeah, it's with a, the it, Alchemist first pick. It's, Quite flexible. It's fairly, uh, fairly standard also lately, I believe. So we are going to see uh, the Visage Nyx bet OD banned out again, fairly standard. We still have the IO in the pool. Zenith actually played it last time. They played with a PA, so taking a page out of the book of Alliance. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see either team pick it up. Zenith, it's a bit questionable seeing as if they did it, they'd either have to go with an Alchemist Wisplane, which isn't the strongest, mm -hmm. it's much, much weaker than something like a CK, or they'd have to rotate the Alchemist into mid lane and then have an option of a CK, which kind of limit, limits your damage output in fights to just physical. So. And that's not, not very ideal. Myth Trust are taking their time to think about these first uh, pickoffs. We still have a Shadow Demon and a Dark Seer in the pool, two heroes that are normally picked up fairly early on. Myth Trust Shadow might Demon, want. Hmm? Shadow Demon recently has been seeing uh, fullback in popularity. Yeah. He hasn't really been being, being picked up that much simply because the disruption isn't something that's going to automatically win you fights anymore because Beastmasters dropped out of popularity, as has Batrider being banned every single game. Dire team okay, and they pick up a Weaver instead. Myth is actually the one that plays Weaver Trian of the Asian scene, so we might see a Trian picked up uh, if they don't want to see it banned. It depends on how much homework Zenith this did, of course. I mean, do they really want to ban out a tree? Or are they just going to let it slide? I don't think they're going to pick the tree up themselves, at least, uh, for Zenith that is. But Myth Trust already secure in the Weaver. And it's a hero that can do so many different roles. We've seen him mid, we've seen him off lane, we've seen him safe lane. We've seen him in tri lane, and there's still the Shadow Demon in the end, so that's going to be their setup support. Uh, we still don't know what that Weaver is going to be, though, with this combination. Weaver can be mid occasionally. He's sometimes put against heroes like Queen of Pain, as seeing as he can go fairly even. And a Chen picked up by Zenith. That's one of their favorite heroes to work with, with an Alchemist. Navi played Alchemist and Chen very, very well together in the uh, finals of the D2, which was something nice to see. Yeah, you have the unstable concoction. If it's it, yesterday, yesterday we saw an alchemist. He had uh, he had a good start, so, so he had first blood. That was already nice, of course. He went for a very fast medallion of courage, and then he was up against the weaver lane. And what he did was just charging up his unstable concoction, throwing it out, and while it was in the air, he dropped his acid spray, put on the medallion on the weaver, and weaver got, only got like 50 HP left when the stun hit. Yeah, it's an incredibly dead damaging physical nuke yeah. simply because the amount of minus some you can apply before it makes the amplification something like 40 percent and if you add 40 percent to an already 300 plus damage nuke and a weaver with low base hp he's just going to explode and seeing as you can't dodge the uh, stun with shikuchi as it's completely undisjointable it makes it quite difficult being a weaver in that scenario yeah especially if you you're gonna get stunned i mean guaranteed you, you're not gonna die from the initial hit but you, the duration that you're stunned for you're gonna sit in poison and that will kill you off uh, we've seen alchemist played together with in, uh, crystal maidens yesterday as well quite a few times i believe so who knows maybe zenith will, will try it out as well but already having a chen there is already one of their supports we still have oh never mind we don't have a rubik in the pool in the pool anymore i was gonna say that one because i mean a setup support is something that you would want uh, although Alchemist can also count as a bit of a setup himself with the Unstable Concoction and therefore could work well together with, for example, the Shrek. But the bands uh, are the Dragonite, the Klinks, the Slark and the, the Rubik. So we'll see what Myth wants to go for. Maybe they're going to reveal a little bit more about what they're going to be running here and how they're going to run it because that's totally up in the air so far. I'm surprised they haven't picked up the tree already. I guess tree's fairly weak against a hero like an Alchemist whose acid spray makes it very difficult to employ the tree armor during fights. Alina being picked up by Myth Trust, very very strong with the Shadow Demon. The Soul Catcher plus all Lina's nukes basically makes anyone who's not above 1k HP about 15 to 10 to 15 minutes into the game a complete easy target and you're just gonna blow up. Yeah, it could be a it could be an aggressive trial lane from, from those two and another support or another carry, Weaver or of course a secondary core. 
could be a safe tri lane with uh, Shadow Demon and Lina roaming around, be being very popular. But I think that's going to be dependent on what Zenith is going to pick up together with their Chen. And maybe if they're already going to reveal what kind of mid hero they're going to have. Like, is it going to be a mid hero that is easy to gank or not? We still have the Queen of Pain and the Puck in the pool. And it is Zenith that goes for the Vengeful Spirit. I believe they were the team that actually ran Venge as a carry uh, last Wednesday, but I'm not 100% sure. Thursday, mm. rather. Either way. Oh, that's a Queen of Pain pickup. All these heroes are so squishy. If Alchemist gets a fully charged stun off and they have any kind of minus armor applied to them, be it Acid Spray or VS's Howling Terror, Howl of Terror, uh, they're just gonna die in one or two hits. So they have to be very, very careful. The SD is gonna be have to be he's gonna have to be on point all the time with his disruptions. Yeah, no pressure, and he could be, of course, because of that very fact, the target of those initiations. And yeah, minus armor strat. We could see. A... No, I was gonna say maybe Templar Assassin if they want to continue doing that. Um... Okay, then. Oh, yeah, no. Sorry. Thought there was something wrong with my stream, but it's just someone complaining about the overlay. Well, tough luck. Uh, it is a Queen of Pain and Puck picked up in the end, and no real surprise. I mean, Puck is not one uh, mid hero that is easily gankable, and if you see a Shadow Demon and Alina already there, you kind of want to make sure that your mid hero is going to be one that does have an escape. And Puck Queen of Pain, it's uh, it's one of those skill matchups that is uh, always very interesting to watch. Of course, Puck can attempt to dodge everything that Queen of Pain throws at it, and. Um, it's okay. one of my favorite matchups to watch. Yeah. It, I think it's a bit Puck favored, Zenith, seeing as when bad. Puck hits level 6, if you've got 2 points in orb, 2 points in silence, and a point in ulti, you can usually kill the Queen of Pain from about 500 HP, so the Quap has to play very defensively. <clears throat> or have a uh, Belt of Giant Strength Zenith, for the Treads before that pick. time. Uh, Lifestealer pickup from Myth Trust, which indicates that they plan to do a Shadow Demon, Lina, Lifestealer, Aggro Trilane, or go defensive, but that will leave Weaver in a sticky situation. With the Queen of Pain mid, so yeah, I'm I'm assuming uh, aggressive trailing as well, and it's it's a good one. I mean, you have your Shadow Demon disruption disruption sets up for an open wound for the life stealer. You have a follow up life strike array, very aggressive. On the other side, you've already got the Vengeful Spirit that is able to land the stun to stop Lina from initiating and Magic Missile, of course. It's not instant the stun, but it's still a very fast one, so should be able to in, to stun up Lina before <clears throat> she can get her stun off. I think the issue is. Both Alchemist and Vigil Spirit are going to have trouble stunning the Lifestealer because if he has Rage up, you're not going to land it because he can Rage when it's cast yeah. because of the projectile and Shadow Demon can disrupt him in case he doesn't have Rage up. That is true. We have the Bounty Hunter for the last one for Zenith that indicates that they want to go for... The ganks go for pickups mid-game is going to be uh, Zenith. Zenith's goal because the late game up against the Lifestealer and a Weaver it's, it's gonna be tough. Like, Alchemist Lifestealer is still pretty okay, but if you're then also gonna have a Weaver in there, it's, it's gonna be a tough one for Zenith to really uh, beat them late game, so they're gonna try to make it mid game and not get too far behind in the early game, because that is, of course, when the laning of Myth Thrust should be favorable over the laning of Zenith. Let's see who we have playing on what. I'll jump myself over to the Dire side where Myth Thrust is uh, ready to leave their base. We have Lakels playing the Weaver for this game. It will be SD on the Shadow Demon. Yes, pun intended. It is Ava playing the Queen of Pain. On the top lane, it is Trina Cub. Um, he is playing the Lifestealer. Looks like we are going to have then an aggressive trial lane with the a Weaver there. So, a Lifestealer on the solo safe a solo uh, safe lane, yeah. And R5, R5 will be playing his Lina on the bottom lane on that aggressive trial lane. And I'll leave uh, Zenith to you. Okay, on the Radiant, starting from the top, we've got Ice 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 playing the carry Alchemist in the defensive tri lane, and with him will be X Freedom on the Chen, and Ice on the Vengeful Spirit. Yamate is just sitting around in the jungle being a good little puck. He's extremely pulled, he's got 200 gold worth of regen, so the Quap being equally pulled will have some trouble there. Of course, uh, that's what you have to do though, like if you're, you, you said it, like it's a, it's a matchup that is fairly even, slightly in favor of, of the puck. But you have to get pulled then, just to make sure that you would be the one to get ahead. But if you're both pulled, well, it's even again. Sorry, you weren't done yet. My bad. <laughs> and XY will be playing the uh, double tango boot Gondar offlane. I think he's not expect. They didn't expect an aggro trial lane. Otherwise, he wouldn't have boots against the snakes. He's going to have a lot of trouble trying to do anything in this matchup now. If the snakes get sentries, it's going to be an issue. Oh, he's getting a DD first though. That's going to prove a problem. He's just going to run after snakes and hit him yeah. five to ten times. And with boots. 
That's actually working out okay. There's no rage upon Trina Cup. He actually went for Fleece first, so... <clears throat> he's just gonna try to find his tower as fast as possible. Yeah, that cost him a salve, straight up. Okay, now he's behind him regen. This lane might be a bit more even. Lucky runes can change the whole game plan of a team. Let's see if uh, Mistrust can get a first blood here though on this bottom lane. Of course, that's gonna be their goal. Light Strike Array already hits upon Ice Ice Ice. Just harassment for now. But, I mean, that's, uh, that's the tone of the game. Set right there. Disruption. Yeah, right now, they're just gonna be trying to deny as much farm as possible. They're gonna do this every single time they can and try not to give them any creeps. Because their goal in this bottom lane is to make sure the Alchemist comes out with the latest possible phase boot shadow blade or tread shadow blade that you they can manage. Oh, they but. go for the Shadow Demon though. Magic Missile already hit. Here comes the Light Strike Ray up on one, but it's still gonna be the first blood that goes to Zenith and the second blood as well. Slightly, um, well, overconfidence for Myth. I mean, they had some wards. They knew where the supports, uh, supports weren't uh, on the map. And actually, nah, he's gonna be able to get away. But uh, yeah, totally cut out of position. And with that first centaur, that's two supports down for Myth Trust. And that's an aggressive trial lane, kinda. Shut down, because now they're up against heroes that are higher level than they are. Yeah, this lane's already a complete nightmare for them. Alchemist is going to have his level 2 stun, or level 2 acid spray, and this lane is going to get extremely difficult. Alchemist is in fact going for a soul ring first, which indicates he wants to max his acid spray, and just harass them out of the lane. Mm, what you have to be very careful for, for if you're playing an aggro trial lane, is to not let the chain kill you with the center, and they've already failed that, so this lane gets much harder. Yeah, we just saw them try the combination out on Alchemist again, but... He's not going to be too worried, he has still got a self, he is still, he is actually two levels higher, everybody's still level one on the side of myth. And in the meantime, in the middle lane, Yamate was actually harassing Queen of Pain quite heavily, she is 6-6, six to six, Queen of Pain that is, with the Yamate sitting on 5-3 to three, though, so Queen of Pain getting ahead a little bit in last hits. But yeah, he's given up half a wave in XP, so he's going to be quite a bit behind. Queen of Pain's already level 4, almost going to be level 4 now, yeah. so it's going to be a pretty much a one level advantage. So that makes it a bit more difficult for Yamato, but I think he should be able to catch up and see us with this illusion rune. Now we have a smoke up for us then if they go towards the bottom lane again. Looking to see if they can pick up the level 2, level 1 supports, who knows. In with the centaur again, magic missile up on ice of course to set up for a centaur. Nice light strike array though, but the unstable concoction up on 2. Here comes the centaur sun steel and that will still be SD going down. R5, R5 on the run, but we'll be able to make it out this time. Another kill going the way of Zenith, and of course that was the second kill for ice ice ice. That was basically the perfect scenario for Zenith again. A double alchemist stun hit, hitting the two supports, the two squishiest members of that tri lane, and then a centaur double stunning as well, which means they're obviously going to kill one, and it was a close shave for the uh, Lina R5R5. They're going to go an alchemist now. I don't think they'll kill him here. Yeah, this, uh, this time they have a soul catcher with there, and actually do a lot more harassment, and he uh, doesn't have a self, so either his teammate should bring him some regen, or he should be very careful for the next time. He might actually just... Uh, nah, he's gonna stick around. In the meantime, on the top lane, Trina Cup is sitting on 13 for 3 on his lifestealer, with XY on 12 to 2, so a very even lane still for this bounty hunter. Of course, as you mentioned, that was uh, partly the result of having that uh, harassment with the double damage rune. No extra region for Trina Cup right now, but it's still a tough lane for, uh, for XY. You can't really get that much anymore, but it's not completely hopeless either. And when he's level 6 and he rotates bottom and they get more kills on those supports, more gold for Zenith, for sure. Uh, as previously mentioned, uh, Yamate with that Illusion Marine has already caught up immensely. He's th leading by 3 CS on the Queen of Pain in mid. Uh, Queen of Pain's leading by 2 denies, but that's not so much. Oh, he's going to get the DD rune on top. Yamate's now got Illusion Marine and a DD rune. He's getting very lucky with these runes. What do you think that Mistrust needs to do there on the bottom lane? Do you think they should stop uh, running that aggressive trial lane? Like, just rotate? Because they're not really getting that much. The Kels are still getting some farm, 16 to 5. It's uh, it's pretty decent, actually. It's a lot more than the Alchemist is getting, but they're not getting the kills. Or do you think that shutting down Alchemist is enough? In terms of last hits, at least. Mm, they're not going to shut down the Alchemist anymore. And their supports are in trouble already. Yeah, they go for two different targets. They will end up killing SD once again. Lina will get away once again, but that's the four kill for Zenith, and the third one up on the Shadow Demon, and Ice 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 third kill as well. What Zenith keep doing here is they keep single pulling the creep wave, and then this makes a massive double wave, and then they just go in with stuns. And then if nope. Mithras want to fight back, they're fighting into two whole creep waves, and three enemy heroes, and a chain creep, which means they're never going to win that fight. So it's automatically a losing, losing scenario for them. So it 
basically forces them to f always sit back, always never be going on the Alchemist, so, which means he can get XP relatively securely, and with that he's already level 5, he's going to get his ulti fairly soon, and then he's never going to die. Yeah, especially not to a level 3 Weaver. Level 4 now, sorry. But yeah, it is uh, it's quite painful. We do see Myth making a change, so they rotate their Lina top, the Shadow Demon is already top. They won't be able to kill off the Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter is level 6, so basically uh, he's done on the top lane. And they'll try to kill off the Queen of Pain. Track is there, and they are gonna try to go for it. Here comes the Pock Orbing in as well, and the kill with the Waning Rift. Very nicely executed, and the first track kill of the game on the board, it is 5-0. Zenith is just dominating this game so far. All lanes are going well. Bounty Hunter got what he wanted out of top lane. He got his level 6. He got some decent CS, so he has boots on his bottle. And he's going to bottle up a regen, I expect. Or is he going to leave it for Yamate? Oh, he is. Okay, Yamate is going to get that regen rune and is going to just sit in mid with a level advantage and a gold advantage over the Queen of Pain. Which means that lane becomes much, much more dangerous. Yeah, one of the things, if, if an aggressive try lane now doesn't work out, the levels of those supports are so so low and then you have a bounty hunter in the game that can just punish that straight away because of course he is theoretically able to just solo kill Alina right now, Lina's level 3. Yeah, right now they're not exposing themselves, they're not going to risk getting elk stunned and then killed. And they might be getting the they're Weaver diving. though. The track is up there, he's only level 4 so no time lapse just yet. That's the second track kill XY. Make it happen. I think he was actually alone in range, I think Ice was already backed off so that's a solo kill in terms of experience for XY. You'll definitely be able to rotate into a semi-carry role rather than just the offlane role. I want to see if uh, X Freedom decides to go for the mana boots or the mech. I think he's going to go for a quick mech and they're going to try and take down as many towers as they can with Chen's three creeps and his mech. Right now, Isis Ice is just going to farm what he can in bot lane. He's got 20 CS. He's already caught up with the Weaver, which means this lane's become a complete disaster for Myth Trust. Yeah, I'm actually thinking just rotate the Weaver out of here. Maybe they can still take it back with the Life Stealer though. I mean, Life Stealer is level 8. He's definitely not doing bad on the farm. He's actually the highest CSer in the game. Still the highest on that worth as well. The question is, how much will we actually be able to do against Ice, Ice, Ice and uh, Co? Because, I mean, it's nice. And with the Queen of Pain, you can infest, have those infest bombs going. It's, it's okay. But how far can Myth be actually behind for him to still be making it back? Hmm. These last, like, despite Nyx having a lot of last hits, and he's got the highest in net worth, a bot lane, they're about to take a tier 1 tower, and they might rotate and take a tier, tier 1 mid, or they might just sit back and farm for a bit, but now, if you look at the net worth, everyone's become a lot closer to that Nyx. Yeah. Puck being only 50 behind, Alchemist only 300 behind. Yeah, and even the Chen right now is higher than the Queen of Pain mid. They're actually gonna go for this. They're able to get away though, Disruption was in time to make sure that Weaver was safe. And the sentry was no longer in range, they had uh, one placed. So no more disabled. He's charging up his son again though, goes for the Shadow Demon again, surprise! And there is the Medallion of Courage up on Ice 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 as well. X Freedom might die, but at least he'll make sure that there is a kill there as well. And the Hand of God just leveled with that kill and everybody uh, is back up alive and tier 2 yeah. is on the way. In the meantime, Ice Meister Ice. is there. But... With only Medallion, he managed to, with 2 seconds of charge stun time, he did 290 damage to Shadow Demon. That is insane. Yeah, that is and very yeah, this is very painful. Trini Cup comes bottom though, seeing if he can do something here. Might be able to save his tower. Lina still goes down, solo kill there, and Ice Ice Ice, he's actually in a bit of trouble right now. He should be throwing out a stun. Wow, that Queen of Pain really taking a ton of damage from that one. He's gonna get sent home by the Chen and will be fine. And Lina indeed got picked off by herself. She was level four up against the bounty hunter level eight. That doesn't work out. And that is uh Still zero kills on the board for Myth Trust, so they were so close with the Chen just a moment ago. Yeah, Chen's sitting on mana boots and a buckler. He's gonna have a mech in six to, uh, six to seven minutes, provided they get no more towers. If they get towers, it's gonna come a lot quicker. Uh, Puck's already trying to put some pressure onto mid lane now. He's got ice sitting behind him, so if Cop tries anything, he's gonna die immediately. Yeah, it is a nice Nakes time. is gonna run at the Puck. See. They could still try to go for infest bombs, though. Oh, he's gonna go for this Dream Coil, Waning Rift, Disruption will keep the Queen of Pain safe, that's gonna be the Puck jumping to the other side of the tower and will end up face shifting, getting away, is he able to run from this one? I don't think so, that's gonna be him going down, no Vengeful Spirit to save his life, that's the first kill for Mythtrust, Queen of Pain takes it home.
I mean, it was yes. four versus one, so it won't, if, it, if he didn't die there, that would have been quite amazing. As soon as he went in, VS immediately backed off, and then two supports came in from Mythrust, so... That was basically a four on one, and he did very well to survive as long as he did. He predicted when Lena was going to use the uh, Dragon Slave, so he survived about five more seconds, but he died anyway. Yep. Nice attempt, but no cigar. In the meantime, Ice 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 still happily farming. He has been in six out of the nine kills. He's got phase boots. He is just doing really well for himself right now, considering he had not so much last hits at the start. Of course, he still had gold from killing heroes, but yeah. I'm wondering if he should already start backing up some Griefel Sweep, considering he's doing that. Wait a second, mid lane, R5 will end up going down. Bounty Hunter with a kill gets disrupted, Soul Catch caught as well. Tries to get away, can be invisible in a second again. That's Ice swapping him out, nice stun. Sonic Wave? Oh, he was thinking about it. Didn't end up going for they, it. Oh, they tried to body block him, but they didn't manage it. Oh, wow, that's a solo kill by Ice. Ice. Yep. That yep. four points in stun, three points in us spray with a medallion yeah. that we've yeah. just disappeared. And they go over the Queen of Pain again. He already blinked out of the Dream Coil and Shuriken Toss. With the hit from the pack, we'll finish it off. I mean, this is just complete domination here. Trini Cup looks for the Vengeful Spirit. Might be able to get her, actually. She doesn't have a stun anymore. The Rage is on. The Open Wounds were on as well. Dragon Slave will help out. There is another stun right now. If the Rage ends, there is going to be a stun. But she stuns the Lina and gets a kill instead before she dies. That's something. Freedom. He'll die now as well. Or will he? Yes, he will. Yeah, yes, he will. will. In comes x -Fi. In comes Yamate. Looking for Trina Cub. That's a track kill on the board. Another one. And Lakels wisely runs himself out. Three kills now for Myth. Nice is coming four. behind. Oh. That oh, that's is... 397 damage. Oh, that's so painful. Incredibly painful with that medallion there helping out. He's building a Shadow Blade, by the way. And of course, he got that kill on the Shadow Demon. Again, Shadow Demon who died five times. I believe all five times it was to Ice Ice Ice. Yeah, he doesn't want to be on the same map as Ice 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 anymore. I wouldn't want to be. That's just intimidating. No, they're just not going to be on the map anymore. They just have to stay by their tier twos and not hope not to die while static farming. And in Weaver's case, he doesn't have a tier two, so he's pretty screwed. Okay. Another track kill. There's a Sentry Ward here down, though, and they go for x The Sonic Wave, just in case, gets the kill. Dominating streak ended. And this is actually Zenith is is so into the the killing mode. You see the you know the red of the rise. It's just. You know, kill mode. They're just going on everything. Yeah, and it's actually, it might be hurting them a little bit. I think they, they, they lose they get, some They're heroes. trading pretty benefic beneficially each time. I think if VS was more committed there, they would have caught at least one of Nakes or Quop when Puck Dream called, but they decided that they just couldn't do anything because VS was too far away at the time, which meant they didn't really get anything in return for Vanti Hunter dying, despite him getting tracks off. Yeah. Oh wow, look at the net worth change, actually. Life Seeder was uh, doing okay, or at least keeping up with the rest for a while, but because he went mid and helped with those killings, he's actually got assist in all four kills that they have. He lost a lot of farming time and therefore is now uh, behind the puck on net worth. As we have got Ice looking for a swap, finds it. Shadow Demon will be going down. Angel Spirit with the kill. In the meantime, Puck able to pick up the Lina. Support's dying left and right, and Myth is just only able to sit back and watch basically. Oh, compared to the Lina, Esty's having a fine time. He's actually got boots. Lina's sitting on a smoke, a sentry ward, and two branches. So with about 600 HP, she's dying to basically everybody who even looks at her. No so, Ice Ice is going to have a Shadow Blade and 200 gold, and they seem to be aiming for this tier 2 tower, which will go down quite quickly. Yeah, I missed Kandra. Really sitting at the back. It. He's got Dream Call up in three seconds. Oh, they're actually going to try the defend it. They infest. Queen of Pain has an infested life stealer in there, so she's gonna try blinking. She doesn't have Dream, uh, doesn't have Sonic Wave though, but it doesn't matter. They go up on Ice Ice Ice, he's charging up a stun, Hand of God helping out. Nice swap into safety, but Lakels is already standing there, and Ice 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 will be sent home in time. No! Goes down. That's gonna be a nice kill for Myth. Can they find more is the question. Kway XY, or, or XY rather, <laughs> just picking up the lean. And Shadow Demon goes down as well. Now they go on the rest. The track kill, the track is there, and four people down for one. Alchemist. It's a nice pickup on the Alchemist. Losing their entire team for it? Maybe not so much. Trina Cup, what are you doing? I think he wouldn't have even died there if he was just a bit more quick on his stun placement. Because he was he got chain stunned for about four seconds and then had two seconds left. And then he lost sight of the weaver briefly, but then regained it. And he didn't press the stun in time, so he took the damage himself. If that didn't happen, he would have survived. 
but they're getting the tier 2 anyway, and Shen's got his mech almost up, so I don't think yeah. oh, they're, they're going gonna go for anyway. the Weaver. There they go, Sonic Wave still does quite some damage to the Bounty Hunter, but looks like he'll be able to stay alive. Trina Cub able to pick up at least one hero, will go down with the Chen afterwards. They pick up two, they lose two though. It is two supports traded for two of their cores. Not really favorable trades. And XY, he is not done just yet. He wants to go for this Queen of Pain perhaps. Or Lina, free food. Lina does have a Laguna Blade though. Never mind. 500 <laughs> damage. Welcome back to the fight, Ice Ice Ice. And that's gonna be... Uh, yeah, another kill, throws out a stun, SD getting away, I am curious why there's no GG call just yet, and normally I don't say that, but this is just, this is just a bloodbath. Okay, that, that is GG. Yeah. That would have been even worse if Chen hadn't used Test of Faith and run out of mana to mech, but... Oh, despite that, they seem to be winning the game. Yeah, there we go, so we'll see in game two. Myth Trust, I really hope they can pull uh, something... Something better next yeah. game, and not die to the Chen combo. Because this Seven was really painful. And then they just got other, utterly destroyed. I mean, we knew what they were planning to do, it just didn't work out. Alchemist too strong. Chen too strong. That first gang kind of set the tone. But, uh, but yeah, we'll be heading ourselves on to the second game, so you're watching the quarterfinals of the AMD Premier League. Zenith versus Myththrust. It is a single elimination of a best of three, so after this best of three we'll know who will be going home and who will be going to the semi-finals. So stick around for the second game and we'll be right back. 